Welcome back. It is day two of our adventure in northern Manitoba. We are at Baker's Narrows Lodge for the week. And yesterday was a bit of a slower start. We saw a ton of lake trout on the camera. I couldn't get any to eat. Clayton caught one nice one before I got there in the morning. Um, but I did end the day with a couple nice burbot. So ended on a good note. We're going to start it today on a good note. We're getting a much earlier start with my buddy Clayton Schick. Clayton Schick Outdoors over there. And um, the goal this week is to get some of Manitoba's biggest lake trout on the ice. This lake has giants. This is Lake Athapap. Pretty untouched considering the amazing fishery it is. But we're gonna get ripping and we'll see you on the ice. Go, 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 go. What's going on, Jay? Oh, your lens is dirty. Predictions? Two burbot and uh, false flag. That's, that's disappointing. Guys, I am always one for optimism, and for Clayton to say something like that, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. We're gonna get that sour attitude out of your face, out of your life, and we're gonna go dangle for some Mama Dama Lake Trout. One day, I wanna grow up to be as rich as Clayton Schick. Rich? Are you kidding me? This Look at this. These are all custom high-end rods. The snowmobile. It's all the banks, Jay. The bank owns it all. <laughs> I'm just borrowing it. We made it out here to the middle of nowhere. Jay, do you ever put the camera down? No. Nope. There's more to it. We made it. Thank you for guiding me this morning to this spot. I'm not a guide. Oh, sorry. I can't use that term. Please. Thanks no. for out. Thanks for outfitting me. I got one goal today, and that's catching a trout on the big rod. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, there'll be a link above. Clayton's popping holes, and day two begins now. Alrighty folks, this is the hole that I caught the burbot at the end of the night and I chummed a bunch so this is the hole that I'm going to drop down for Big Lakers. Same deal, using some meat. Hole number one is set. I'm going to put the underwater camera in this hole so I'm going to pop another one and then do that hole setup. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a second line in first because that is key. I would rather catch the fish than get the underwater shot in this scenario since we got skunked yesterday. But you guys, you watch that flag for me. Let me know if it pops and I'll be back in a bit. The amount of fish cruising around here is absolutely insane. So I got a dead bait here. Now I'm finally set up, guys. I got a dead bait sitting on the bottom and I'm jigging a little fluke with a strip of meat on it. And there is just non-stop action like two fish at once just circling oh he likes that he likes that a lot oh oh yes We're hooked up as soon as i started pounding in the mud that fish just chowed it it was just instant mood change almost lost the flasher this is not big but my first laker of the trip that was so sweet to watch Hopefully that's a sign of the fish's mood changing today. Here we go, first trout of the trip. Spinning in the hole, and we got it. He ate the little fluke. Not an Athapat monster, but for first lake of the trip, I'm happy with that. We're on the board. Nice fish. Yup! That fish turned so aggressively when I started hitting the mud. I've seen this with pike. I haven't had a chance to do too much lake trout with the camera, so I can't say I've seen it a lot with lake trout. But sometimes just kicking it up in the mud will just drives them crazy. Oh, there's another fish. We're getting back down. This is, this is good. If they're snapping, we're gonna have a fun day. There's not a better way to learn how a fish acts than actually being able to see it. And so often you're not able to do that. So, I mean, this is a good learning opportunity for, for open water too to see how lake trout react. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. I'm on my phone, every video starts with me on my phone. Oh, I'm gonna just pound it in the sand, that fish is looking at it. He wants it, oh, he wants it, oh! Come on. He's gonna eat it. Man, these fish are so finicky. 
It's meat, it's sucker belly. That's like the best. Oh, there's a fish. There's a trout, there's a trout. There's a, there's a, there's a trout. As you can see, fishing has gotten pretty slow. Well, it never really picked up. One little trout this morning, some fish on the camera, um, but not what we were hoping for. So, to make the most of this morning, we're doing the question answer. I, uh, I gave you guys a shout out on Instagram a couple weeks ago, asking for questions about fishing, photography, about gear, about life. I wrote them all down, and now I'm gonna answer some of my favorites. Nothing was planned, we're just gonna, we're gonna give her here. What do you have for I'm me? I'm a little closer, so you're touching me. Yeah, that's perfect. Who's more fun to fish with, Clayton Schick or Uncut Angling? Oh, uh oh, you're on the spot right now, and I'm right here. Clayton's a more a steady, good trip. Aaron's is kind of highs and lows, so it could be really good or really bad with Aaron. With Clayton, it's kind of a safe middle ground. Is that fair? No. So this is a yes or no. This Clayton's a disaster. It's this it's is, stressful fishing with him. Does Clayton snore? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah, he I needs can't his help cabin. It. Does Clayton like being called Clay? I don't mind it. Is he okay with that? My mom calls me Clay. Makes me feel at home. Best lure for walleyes, top three. Clayton? Jig and a minna, rattle bait, jig and spoon. Boom, done. Yes, there's a many different brands of each, but um, you want a jig with a good hook, you want a rattle bait with a good rattle and some flash, I think, most of the time. And jig and spoon. Are you done with me now? Do you have any more questions for me? Um, no, that's it. You're done for this part of the question and answer. Why don't you ever take Judy fishing? I would love to take Judy fishing. She's kind of a wild cat, kind of, kind of crazy. I, I think that would probably end poorly. Do I want to try it? Yes. Uh, if anyone is watching and knows anything about cat life jackets, please comment below. Next question. All right, next question. How did guiding affect your angling career and skills? Um, man. For someone who is obsessed with fishing, I think guiding is a great, a great option, a great job to have along the way. It's, it's, it is more difficult to pull off as a lifetime career. Props to all the people that do that. Um, but if you are looking for an amazing summer job, guiding is fantastic, great for high school and university students. But beyond that, there's not many situations where you're forced to go into the water every single day, no matter the weather. When you go fishing, if, if the weather's bad or if the bite's been poor, you might not go to that location or that spot. So. Guiding, you go out every day no matter what and you learn the seasonal movements of a fish. There's not a better way to see what the fish are doing than following them every single day. Guiding teaches you life skills, teaches you how to talk to people, how to interact with different personalities. Absolutely, I would recommend guiding and would say it's lots of positive benefits. Boxers or briefs? Yeah, definitely boxers. What inspires you to keep filming? Um, I think the reason I like filming hunting and fishing so much and why I haven't been burnt out on it yet is because there's so much that hasn't been done and there's always a way to top yourself. You know, for example, trying to get a, a drone strike. That That is something that I know has been done before but hadn't been done by a lot of people. And for me, that was a cool challenge and that's what inspires me to keep doing this, to try to get that better shot, do something that hasn't been done, try to push the boundary on, on what's possible. And it's good for the sport and hopefully inspires other videographers because I know I'm inspired by other photographers and videographers all the time. So what are some tips you have for fishing photography, videography? Variety, I mean, you don't always need the same grip and grin. It, experiment, see what works. Experiment when there isn't a fish's health at risk. The biggest thing with fishing photography and video is the fish swimming away healthy. That is number one, nothing else matters. So if you need to do some practice without fish, take the picture of the person without the fish and then pick up the fish and, and take the picture. That way you're just, you're saving that extra out of the water time. Do you think turtles ever get scared of the dark? I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. What inspired you to break away from filming other people's shows and start your own venture? Well, I still do film for other people and I love filming for other people and being behind the camera. But I love the vlogs. I love capturing the adventures and getting to do more fishing hunting myself and just meeting new people, traveling. Fishing is my first passion, fishing and then photography. So I never wanted to lose that. So that's why I started doing more on my own. What are your biggest pet peeves within the fishing or hunting industry? Um, toughest thing for me is I guess the infighting sometimes and, and the politics. I, I wish everyone could get along. There's so many dynamics and politics with different personalities and different companies. And that's the tough part because at the end of the day, we all love fishing and 
I don't think it should matter what boat you're in or what color clothing you wear, if you should be able to fish with that person. And I just think we need to be an encouraging bunch and work together to build this sport and make it as good as possible and to get young people into it because if we don't have young people into it, the sport will die. How do I find a wife that loves fishing as much as you do? I don't know, I got pretty lucky. Maybe eHarmony, Christian Mingle, Tinder, the local fishing tackle store. We are taking off real quick. We just packed up. We're getting set up for the burbot bite tonight. The question and answer is not over, but we need to get back to land first and then we'll finish this up because there's some good questions left to answer. We made it off the ice and we got a couple questions left before we wrap up. Next question. What was your most favorite filming trip? Well, that's tough, but one that comes to mind is the trip to Reindeer Lake with Aaron Weeb on the Uncut Angling channel. I will link it above here, uh, where we delivered the rods from 39 hours to the school kids. It was just, it had fish, it had adventure, it had, you know, giving the rods to the kids, which was the coolest part. So that is number one in my list. How excited are you that the Jonas Brothers are back together? I'm, I'm pretty excited. They make good music. Nick Jonas is a bit of a stud. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna listen to their new album. You, Clayton? Who are they? They're back together. Who cares? Clayton, have a heart. Who is your fishing partner growing up? Well, before I had my drivers, I begged my dad all the time to take me fishing to all these different locations. My dad likes fishing. I wouldn't say he's hardcore. When I'm not fishing with him, he doesn't do too much, but he woke up early and took me on so many trips and he is the most amazing father. I cannot thank him enough for how he helped me along my obsession with angling. So thank you, Dad. If a chicken had lips, could it whistle? These questions are just going downhill in a hurry. Well, we had dinner, laid down for a bit, and now the sun is low and the burbot are coming out to play. Hopefully, we have never fished this spot before, so you're always rolling the dice, but it could be good. So, you know what? We used to have competitions at Wallace and Lake Lodge when we got there together. Remember that, Clayton? Oh yeah, I beat you, I think. No, I beat Clayton most of the time. Um, but tonight we'll do some sort of burbot showdown. Loser will probably have to sleep on the ice for the night. Is that fair? Sure. Clayton says yes. I don't think he'll actually follow through, but... Will you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Tough guy. Guys, it has not been mentioned yet, but today we're finding out who is the best burbot fisherman in Canada. Millions of people were invited. We are the only two that showed up for the competition. So, whoever catches the most burbot tonight wins. A master angler is worth a bonus five fish, and loser has to sleep on the ice. Nah, no, probably won't happen. We're both way too soft for that. Anyways, Clayton's all set up. I'm giving him the head start. And we're gonna go jig up some burbot. We chummed this spot earlier, as you guys saw, so hopefully some fish have moved in. I'm looking forward to this. I don't burbot fish very often. I was, I was trying to be quiet. I was trying. Oh, this is getting difficult. <laughs> Burbot number one. I hope this. I hope you can see this. Burbo number one, folks. That is a slimy, snaky little guy. Not as big as the ones the other day, but going back. Yes, sir. If Jay does make a video out of this. I lost. It happens. There's no video on my channel, so don't go looking for it. We're gonna do another burbot showdown. This this one isn't really the real one because we we struck out. But uh, you kind of saw the process. I hope you enjoyed the question and answer. Hope you enjoyed Clayton Schick from Clayton Schick Outdoors. He will be with me all week. We are shacking up together at Baker's Narrows Lodge. Oh, oh. This gives a good example too, right here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? That was perfect. No, I promise you. I promise you. This was not planned. We were literally, we're fishing spot we've never fished before. You're, are, you are gonna strike out sometimes. It's good to just take some gamble sometimes, learn some new water. 
Don't get stuck in the same old rut over and over and over again. Are you like, are really? Oh, it's a good fish for you. I'll be happy with that. And right there, we are gonna finish this Burbage Showdown. So not only did you win by one, now you won by two. If I go the over snake. there and there's a burbot on my camera, I'm <laughs> still fishing. There we go, thank you Clayton. Good times. And we'll see you tomorrow, we're trout fishing. That's the goal now, trout. We need a big, big trout. So I would like to thank everyone who helped me win this award tonight as top burbot fisherman in the world. Um, I, I didn't think it would be such a close race, but I'm just, just happy to take home the title. So thank you for watching guys. We'll catch you next time.